Hello everyone. I haven't done a live in a good minute. So I thought, why not? Then you guys can ask questions. Hopefully everybody's having a great day. Let me see if it's even up. I don't know what I'm doing. And then there we go, the heat press is ready. So we're at a different angle than you guys can see what um, my heat press is at. So I am doing, it's set at 371 for 35 seconds. And you guys can see so if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to ask all right so doing any pairs of socks you're going to need jigs regardless if they're made out of cardstock jigs these jigs um, temper board you're going to need some kind of jig regardless to do socks for them to come out good now depending on if you're doing like baby socks or something like that you probably don't um need them you know but for no shows dress socks and all that you definitely need them because you have to stretch the fabric a little bit then the ink can get inside so that's the reason for the jigs. So I'm gonna do a couple pairs. Um, and if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, the affiliate link, if it's not there, um, I will have to list it afterwards. Um, the proceeds go to um, donate to the cancer patients. That's what these socks are for, for my March's donation. All right, so thank you guys for joining. Um, thank you for the support. Make sure you guys hit like. And we're going to do um, a few different colors. So, depending on what color foot you're doing, that's the color of the inside of the sock. Besides the black socks, the black foot also has um, white interior and black. So, you do have to pick those, but all the other ones, whatever color the foot is, it's going to be the same color. So... And then you want to put your sock on without stretching it. And you want to make sure that all of it is straight. Tuck in the heel like that. Hopefully you guys are staying warm. Rain, snow, the cold weather is hitting everywhere. So here we go. There you go, tuck it in. Do about medium pressure. You gotta know your pressure. You gotta know your press also. My press is Heat Press Nation Signature Series, 16 by 20, swing away. All right, so let's get started. If you jump in at a different time, it's fine. We're gonna be repeating, repeat, repeat. All right. So these are printed on 11 by 14 paper. So that is perfect for small press. I print it this way, my the length going this way, because the height, I only need it about eight and a quarter at that, but I do a little extra for my bleed. And then all the items come with their own bag. Then you can seal it back up, put a little hanger in it, especially if you have a craft show or anything like that. All right, let's get to it. So I got my paper down. I'm gonna just space them just a little bit, not too far. And you can also tape the cotton, because the foot is cotton. For these ones, you can tape it, then your transfer doesn't go over. 
it will wash off like after several washes it'll get lighter and lighter um but you can put cut um heat tape down and it's not going to um, affect it so i'm just filling to make sure that it got um, all the way around then i don't have any white and then we're going to go ahead and press it make sure your heat press is at the correct temperature that works for you I found out yesterday doing socks that I can lower it my temperature and get the same results and when you're doing you know 20 or so you definitely want to try to eliminate waiting that 45 minutes for your heat press to warm up and all that and we're gonna have to do the roll method and all that also So as you can see, my temperature dropped to 364. There we go. Now we're just gonna roll the sides just like that to eliminate the line. You gotta roll it enough, then your transfer will get to it. So just like that, you kind of see it. And then you're gonna flip it, put it back. If you can't see where it blew out, change your paper. Because it will transfer over. Alright, then you put it down, get your transfer. All the designs, um, I was 98% I got off of um, Creative Fabrica. The seamless patterns. And then go ahead. My heat press is at 367. That's fine. Because I already know it's not going to give that much big difference. When you're doing them. But you have to, you know, check out your own heat press and um, make sure that um, that's okay. Because those couple of degrees might um, affect your colors on your heat press. So we're just going to just do this until we get that stacked down. So feel free to ask questions. I can show you so just like right here I didn't roll the side all the way it kind of rolled back right there so that's why I said you got to make sure you roll so this side there's no white and I picked this foot just because it has a little blue in it and it still goes so I just put my transfer right there didn't need to do um, tape or anything And so there we go. And when you stretch it, you're going to see the blue come through. Nicely done. And then you can just fold them up and put them in the bag and be done. All right, let's move on. Make sure they're lined up straight, even. There we go. With the dark colors, you still can see um, sometimes the sublimation goes onto the cotton. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for hitting like. Thanks for your support. Um, 
I just thought I would come on. I know a lot of people are at work. They might be at lunch. But just to come on, I didn't see that I've done a live um, athletic sock. So I thought, why not? Just in case there's questions or anything. You never know. So even though this one has white in it, you're still going to need to roll the sides. Okay, because you want to eliminate that line. And the reason you flip and switch them is because when you wear them from the back, if you had words or whatever, um, it would um, read correctly. And then go ahead, put it where, line it back up. Get your transfer. Make sure you fill the sides. Make sure it's even. And then there you go. So since these ones have um, cooled off, I will load these ones. They haven't cooled off all the way, but they're just slightly warm. And after you do it, you'll start seeing your lines on where, how far you need to go up. And don't worry about the heel and the color. It would all come back. There's your seam. And there you go. Two pairs down. So if you guys have any questions, let's do black. And that would tell if my um, heat is correct or not. Because black, if it's brown, if your black turns brown, it's burnt. If your black is green means it's undercooked and like i said last night doing them i found out that i can do it on my heat press at a lower temperature so let's find out black is the easiest one to find out if your press is giving off the right colors but you do got to make sure your pressure is right too so i'm doing it at 367 371 for 35 seconds. No, I don't have a heat gun to determine exactly what heat. I mean, when I swing it away from the thing, it can cool off, bring it back. So the affiliate link is in the description. If you're watching this video um, on the 24th, the weekend of the 24th, there is a sale going on. So if you use the link, Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. All right. So here's my black. Looks good. And we're at 366 because the temperature dropped. Now you're going to roll the sides. So you just got to play around with your heat press and your pressure and all that. I, I personally, I don't have 45 minutes to wait for my heat press to get to the temperature. Last year I did 375 pretty much. So it just all depends. Certain items, yes, I understand you're not going to probably be able to, you know, go that low. So then you're going to roll it. Then you can see the sides to eliminate that line on the side when you wear it. 
So you just got to roll it enough. If you roll it too much, it'll um, double print. And then you'll have a thicker seam line right there. So make sure you hit like. You guys enjoy the video. Learning. Socks are easy to do. If you, um, you know, just don't overthink it. Just like when you do your measurements, put your sock on the jig, measure from here to here, put those measurements in your computer, measure here to here also. So if you want something to go right here, go a little bit shorter. You want something to go under this line, the seam right here, then go. If you don't want to go to the bottom or if you do, make sure you do it. So I measure mine about 8, 8.5 or 8.25 and I do five inches but every jig is different so depending if you're using this jig this jig the other jigs or the jigs that are all out there you're definitely going to have to measure not every jig is the same so here we go this is black I'll post the pictures in the group make sure you guys join then you guys can see them up close so my black looks good it has the black interior, so when you're stretching, the black is going to show through. I don't know if I dropped the link or not. So, we have done three pairs now. Nice dragon print. Make sure you change your paper. We are going to do the gray foot. We're going to do, all, I think, I think I got mostly all the colors that we're going to do that he offers. Let's do some classic cars. And if they're not lined up, adjust your sock. Make sure you look at your jig. And I fill the sides to make sure that my sides are covered. Because sometimes the transfer is not long enough. And then um, that's where you'll get the white. So let's see, where are you doing gray? Okay, let's do blue next. Try not to mix up my transfers to go with what color sock. And then it will do pink. Just showing the different colors that you can put on them. Make sure you tuck this in because that will affect your pressure right here. And you can see I put my sock all the way in pretty much to make sure I get the right pressure in the middle. There we go. The same thing, roll the sides to eliminate that line. And switch them flip them and go ahead and line it back up if you can't see where you lined it up make sure you change your transfer um change your um butcher paper all right there we go let me get my other sock ready Thank you guys for joining. I know everyone's busy, but don't, um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Everybody has their own way of doing it. No right or wrong. As long as you like the outcome. the gray foot some nice classic cars
the paper. Let's do the American flag. Memorial Day is coming up. Fourth of July. Making sure it's all straight. It's like you're healing. There you go. Beautiful. For all the sides. Eliminate that line. Just like that. And then flip them and switch them. You just repeat the process. So depending on what color foot you're going to do, you know, what design, we got Easter coming up, St. Patrick's Day, then you can do the green foot. So here we go, the American flag, beautiful on the um, navy blue. So here's my seam right there. All right. Nice gift, nice for any occasion. Everybody needs to talk. Let's do the pink foot. We haven't done that one. Make sure your socks are straight. You don't want them crooked. Now if your transfer is too long, you can cut it. You can put heat tape on the cotton part of the sock. Then um, it doesn't get on there, but it will wash off you know after several washes but if you want it to look nice definitely um, cut your transfer down or put um, tape the wrong transfer. The transfer is over there for these. Oh well. It still looks good. And then you're just going to roll the sides. Flip them and then switch the spots. Okay. 
It might be warm. You might need some gloves. That's why I rotate between the jig. It's easier if you do tape it. It's fine. I'll have another pink one for that one. Let me do my gray. I mean my orange. Make sure it's all straight. Your lines are straight. Your sock is straight up here. Look at that. So pretty. Perfect on the pink or the blue. I was going to put it on the blue, but I grabbed the wrong um, transfer because it had pink in it. These were going to go on the blue, but that's fine. It still looks good. And then there's your seam right there. some socks if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to ask hit the like the link is in the description let's do it this way go for the sides make sure your press is back to where it needs to be before you press again Just making some socks. Let me see. I'm trying to see what other color I have that we haven't done. But I think I picked a lot of gray because gray is good. It's a neutral color for anyone. that beautiful color this design this one is from silky socks um free designs i just went in and changed the color i used it for the beanies also look at that perfect for the orange the lighting is bad it is a nice orange. I'll post them in the group, then you guys can get a closer look. Make sure you guys join. And then 367. Those two, three degrees for my press, it's not going to make a big difference. But definitely um, make sure you do your, check yours. Because not every press is the, um, the same when you drop temperatures. You don't want to stretch the sock, even though the jig is long. You want to make sure it's straight. You don't want to crick it. So. Hi from Vegas. How are you doing? Is it snowing out there? We got snow out here. Thank you for joining. So here you go. Remember, it's orange inside. So whatever color the foot is, that's what color the inside's gonna be. 
So when you wear it, it'll stretch the orange with show and not the white. Yeah, I definitely have to post these when I have better light. My sun is not out. The storm is coming, but it is great. Hello, hello. We're just doing a couple pairs. I already done about five pairs. Thank you guys for joining. Have you guys ever done any socks before? Do some basketball. March Madness is coming up. We're just going to do it on some orange, you know, keep it neutral. Or maybe not. Am I only printing one? I'm still learning how to count. So we'll wait on that one. Let's do the next one that goes on gray. We're going to do some dolphins. So remember, you can tape where your transfer goes on the cotton foot if you don't want your transfer going over because it will wash off eventually, but it will leave the mark on there. Thank you guys for liking. Oh, here's the basketball one. They all got moved around. I put butcher paper on the bottom, yes. I don't put it on top, no. When I'm doing so many, I have to cut corners where I have to cut them. About 100 pairs of socks, if I did top and bottom, it would, yeah. And I'm not cooking at 400, and I'm not pressing at 60 seconds either. That's why the camera is this way. Then you guys can see the temperature. You have to make sure you roll the sides. Then you don't, then you don't have that white line. Line it back and back. But like on the color part of your foot, if you don't want the transfer to get on there, you can put um, heat tape. It doesn't hurt it. I've done other videos, done that. And so if I just thought I was going to turn the heat press on, why not warm up my house and do a little video. Okay. Yeah, every heat press is different. I'm doing 35 seconds at um, 367, 371. So it just depends on how your paper release. Um, I did this one, it's black. And that's one way to check out your colors to see if it's burnt or green, if it's undercooked and all that. So here's my gray with my little pink dolphins. Super cute. So you can put tape here if you don't, if you can't line it up like I did on the back. So you can put tape. The most important is to make sure you use a jig. So there's my side seams. Thank you guys for hitting like. Thanks for the support. Yes, and all the designs, um, when the live's over, I will link link it i couldn't link all of them um a lot of them i got off of creative fabrica um if there is a certain design you um are asking let me know and then i can um give you the right link because some of them um were free some of them were um i got off one website and then the rest were um creative fabrica So I make sure I can fill it. There we go. Get the 
this one over here. These jigs right here came from um, Heat Press Nation. They're kind of expensive. Um, Cause you gotta pay for the shipping and you only get one if they don't come in a pair. So um, silky socks are these jigs right here. Yes, you can use them multiple times and all that. But when I'm doing a whole bunch, um, and I had, I was doing socks before, um, I knew them. So I just use, they do get extremely hot. So you do got to, um, be careful. The part that's, um, under the crust. So doesn't that look cute with the light blue? This one's called light blue. And it even has blue in it. So. It really goes. These are all going to be donated to the cancer patients next month. When you guys um, click on the affiliate link in the description or in the about, um, I buy stuff and I donate it once a month, every two months, depending on um, what their process is. I'm up to four clinics this year. Started with one and then it grew so they get shipped to Utah the four clinics and next month I'll start doing a local one so I'm super excited about that especially it being local and going to see the patients and talk to them I think I did some beanies the other time I do beanie socks. Um, in my recent video, I did some pillow covers. It's going to be the first time, but I said, hey, they're local. I can do pillows and see. So here we go. So just like here, you can tape it. After a while, yes, it's going to fade, but it's going to be several, several washes. But if you want it to look good, definitely heat tape. And then you fold them and then you put them in the bag that they come in all the items come in their own individual um, bag for you to package them so yeah let's make sure you guys join the group um, then you guys can see up close if you have any questions afterwards or anything like that all the links are in the about if it's not in the description because I, I know I'll do it afterwards so make sure you tuck the heel in because that will give you pressure issues and make sure it's on your press where you get the good pressure and the good heat out. If you get fading, you probably have a pressure issue or you need to cook it longer. So let's do make sure you fill the sides and make sure you have your sides are covered. Okay, the, it should be on the front page, I believe. It'll say Facebook group, or it might be in the description um, in the about. Yes, thank you. Yes, both my parents have passed away of cancer, so cancer is very close. And some close friends recently have got diagnosed. So I thought instead of, you know, being mad and frustrated, turn it into something good. And I feel good when I make them, package them up, put my little stickers on them and send them. 
and then hearing that they love it. And you know, who doesn't need socks though? And who doesn't need something um, to make them happy? Because you never know what somebody's, what someone's going through and what one thing can change. You know, you never know. So yeah, my parents just um, hit 15 years they passed. And I started this April of last year. I met someone on Facebook that works at the clinic and I ship them to her and she takes them to work and drops them off. And with, you know, we're still in COVID, but locally they're allowing it finally. So I thought, cool, I'll still do Utah and local. And after the live, if you guys didn't find the link or anything, I will um, post it. I couldn't do, didn't let me fill in all the description when I'm going live. And I really don't go that much live on um, YouTube. So look at that. That color goes great. It's a nice, vibrant color for spring, summer. Don. Oh, yes. I mean, I put it on my TikTok and everything. All the stuff I make. I got, um, I even have a, a cancer page. It's called um, Cancer Dash um, Make a Difference. And I post my stuff there that I send and um, donate to them. And also, you never, you know, you never know what someone's going through. I mean, I was 23 when uh, my mom got diagnosed. And 15 years later, you know, it doesn't get easier. And it's cool to, uh, you know, meet people that you can uh, bond with and, you know, know it's okay. So these will go up. I'm hoping. Um, I'm hoping this time to hit a hundred pairs of socks. Um, I already did 35 beanies so far, so I'm hoping a hundred pairs of socks they'll get this time. And um, see what happens. We're going to do blue again, the light blue. Oh, we're going to do the black foot, some other kind of plastic cars. So I try to do it neutral, or I try to do for, you know, men and women. So, try. I try to keep it even. It's just like anything, it's hard with guys. Hear the rain coming. Thank you. Yes, I like the purple. I like them all. Sometimes it's hard to decide what design you're going to um, put. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for following. And um, sometimes they're not ready for their journey, so I try to just do fun, cute designs. Let me tuck the heel in, make sure. Beautiful. See, even on the gray foot, it still looks good, neutral. few more. 
more. Thank you guys for joining. I totally appreciate it. Put something on the bottom of what? The foot of the bot. These ones, the foot is cotton. So you cannot um, sublimate on the foot. This part is cotton. They're the athletic. So on my other socks, the dress socks and the other style socks um, I do, I have videos on those, if that's what you mean. Yeah, the bottom of these socks are, um, the color foot is cotton, so it will wash off. So I just do from the white area. Yeah, they have, um, these are the athletic, they have the dress socks that are all white, that you can do um, the whole sock, the top and bottom, um, and the heel lays totally flat. Um, there is a sale going on this weekend for them, so the 24th, February 24th to um, that Sunday, depending on if anybody watches this after the fact it's only but usually runs a sale once twice a month so if you miss one you get the you can grab the next sale let me see Trying to figure out where I put that other blue sock. You don't have much to work with. I don't know where you press everything. Oh, there it is. So the athletic socks, um, I should send to Utah because of course it's colder there than it is in California. Look at that. Gorgeous. Love it. This was on Creative Fabrica. Um, when I get up, I'll link all the um, links of um, forum. If you guys want a certain design, I would um, send you the, get the link for you. make sure they're straight but yes if you get um like double pressing and all that because you don't use blowout paper then yes make sure you put blowout paper on top because so some paper d does bleed um more than others and i'm not saying even if we're using the same um same paper same everything one thing we're doing different is our pressure you know, our pressure is not the same. And um, if you're not if you're not going to do a full background, you're going to have white. I it is recommend to lint roll, but I don't. Look at this one. Nice purple, blends in, goes good. You just gotta make sure you roll the sides and you don't get that white line. And thank you guys for watching and liking and following. Let's see what I do next. 
I usually do pre-recorded, but I said, why not come on and see if people have any questions. Yes, thank you, Dawn. So I like the colors, but especially for the holidays, like, you know, Christmas or, you know, pink for breast cancer month, you know, stuff like that. It's really cool. So I guess we're, we got two more pairs and then we're done. This is, yeah, that's it. That's all I have my transfer for. At least I can't break this thing. Nice. So yes, if the links aren't in in the, the description, um, or in the about or um, probably another sock video, um, I'll definitely um, link it when I'm done with the line. And you guys can um, have all that information you need. Even I think it's this one. It has pink in it. Make sure your temperature is back to what it needs to be before you um, press again. These um, jigs can um, you can get them from Heat Press Nation. They only sell one, so if you want two, you guys send two. They're, I don't know how much they are now because I got mine years ago. But I know you got to pay for shipping. They're nice and long. But uh, it doesn't matter what jigs you use. If you use the cardstock, the tempered, or whatever, I would use that. I wouldn't use metal or aluminum, in my opinion. Get extremely hot. You know, you can. Um, damage the sock. Look at that. Some retro. But it, since it has pink in it, it really goes. When you do so many socks, and I try uh, not to, unless they request to have a certain design more than once or whatever, but I try to um, do different designs. So if I'm doing 40 pairs of socks, that's 40 different designs. So Creative Fabrica is the way to go. Seamless patterns is really easy. Less thinking. So. So after this one, that would be it. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys like, follow, um, join the group. If you don't see the group, depending if you're on your phone, you might not. It should be on the main um, the main um, thing when you're done. Like if you go to the main screen and pick a video, it might be show up. If not, it might be in the about. But I know everything's different on your phone than your computer. So see right here, you can put heat tape and then that would eliminate that. And since it's, it has pink in it, see the pink coming through? And then I take pictures, I pack them up, and I put my custom stickers on them, and then another one it has the blue in it and the pink so that's why I thought this would go good with this pair of socks thank you guys for watching appreciate it um, let me see like here's another one here's a yellow on a blue foot 
But look, it came out super cute because it has blue in it. This one, plaid orange. Even though it doesn't look like it, it, it definitely matches, but the lighting is throwing it off. Certain colors, it throws it off. Oh, yes, this color came out great. Look at that. Love it. I mean, if I really like one, a design um, for my beanies, for the ladies, I do do a lot of my flower ones. I do repeat those in cheetah because they, they're just so vibrant in the colors. And it's so good to have um, bright colors, pastel colors, you know. All right. This is the last one. And thank you guys for joining. Hi, Angie. Thank you so much. So I will put all the links in the description when I'm done. Um, then you guys don't miss out on the sale or anything that's this weekend. So we did the orange. We did the classic cars with the stripes, the light blue foot, the gray foot with the little blue, pink, and then we did the light blue with the blue and pink metro colors, metro, modern colors, modern, it's modern, not metro. Then we did the rose. This would have looked good on any color, the pink or the blue. The American flag. Another classic car with a different background. And then of course the black with the dragon. The purple. Thank you guys for liking. Here's the light blue. And I think, um, what we got over here? This one, so this one's similar to the other one that was on the blue foot. And then the purple. And then the basketball. Neutral on the gray. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.